that time. We are back with a brand new episode of NBA 2K TV. And there are so many ways to play NBA 2K. Of course, and my NBA is for those of you that would love to take the reins of the front office. I love it. And in NBA 2K25, the mode has major changes. We asked the devs to break it down for us all. Take a look. Today, we're joined by Jeff Schrader, producer on My NBA Mode. How you doing, Jeff? I'm doing great, Chris. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about some of the new features in the mode. Let's start with My GM. Oh. What can fans look forward to when they jump in the mode for the first time this year? Well, Chris, you're going to uh, take the role of a prospective GM, and so I'm gonna kind of walk you through character creation a little bit. All right, Chris, now this is your first time as a new My GM, right? I have not jumped into the mode at all yet, Jeff. So to do it with you first, right here on 2K25. I'm pretty excited to get some knowledge here. One of the biggest decisions that you're gonna make in your GM career is what do you want your backstory to be? Well, I'm looking at that offensive coaching and that defensive coaching on X players, so that looks pretty nice. Uh, another one that stood out to me was actually the closer. A lot of charisma, so how does that affect how you build your team having charisma versus maybe having better coaching? So those are kind of two really good examples. The X player is kind of like a very orthodox pick. You're gonna be really good on the floor. Um, you have a good spread of stats otherwise. You're gonna be able to help your team out just by being around a lot better. And the starter perk for uh, the X player is going to make it a little bit more inspiring for your players as you play. But in contrast, the closer, you're not as skilled with the basketball side of things, but you know the art of the deal. You know how to trade, you know how to get picks, you know how to close the deal. I think I'm gonna go with X player. Oh. I like having on the court control over what I can do off the court. I wanna maximize what I have on the roster, you know what I'm saying? That makes sense. And now you're gonna go ahead and pick two more attributes. Let me go ahead and just go down the list and I'll kind of give like a brief overview. So. Sure. Offense and defense are pretty much exactly what you'd expect. They actually just help out your player's attributes as you play. Sports medicine is actually gonna help a lot with development, but also injuries. Your players are gonna get injured less often, and when they do get injured, it's gonna be less severe and take less time to heal. So definitely very good to have. Business is also going to be really relevant for how you manage your org. How do you deal with the governor? How do you deal with the CFO? From there, we have charisma. That is basically exactly like we discussed, the art of the deal. Uh, this is probably the most important attribute in my GM for all of our brand new conversations. Now, since I chose X player, I think I'm gonna go with charisma here to give myself a nice little balance. No, that's killer. I mean, you're gonna be great on the court, but getting up to five or especially six points is really kind of like a good starter amount to make sure that you're gonna have a ton of options inside conversations. Cool. All right, now this is one thing that's really exciting about 2K25. Let's talk about the perks. Break down the perks that you can expect when players jump in the mode and check them out. So perks are very similar to how badges work in our game currently, except they're just one level, and uh, we have a ton that are brand new this year and tailored specifically to your MyGM experience. For example, you mentioned how you like being uh, a really offensive-minded. We actually have Shot Doctor and Expert Shot Doctor that'll be uh, really good if you really wanna make sure that you're targeting outside shooting. You already know I'm going for those, 100%. <laughs> Seems like a slam dunk then. I guess that'll be your perk for level one. Now you mentioned you start at level one, so what's the process like to level up your perks this year? Okay, well, uh, as you complete conversations, you'll get tasks, you'll get experience, and then you'll level up. Uh, basically, very roughly every level, you either get an additional attribute point or you get an additional perk. So we'll go ahead and walk that through a little bit. So. You've leveled up to two and three, so you're gonna get two more points. Where would you like to put them, Chris? So with those two attribute points, I actually think I'm gonna put it into offensive coaching. Okay. I wanna start getting buckets right off the bat. Absolutely, and there are a few conversation options that are unlocked by getting that up to five and six, so definitely an excellent choice. So, okay, you're now even more proficient on the offense side of the ball. We come to level four, you get to pick a new perk. What would you like? There's a lot of choices to choose from, Jeff. I think what I want to do is perimeter defense. Oh, That's what I do when I'm on the court with my, my <laughs> player, and I really want to focus on stopping the three-pointers, the guard play, uh, shot creators out there. I think, for me, I want to limit threes as much as possible in today's current NBA, so I want to do that. I want to focus on perimeter defense. Bam, you've picked your next perk, and so then from there, that's level four. Again, five through seven, you're gonna get three more attribute points, so where would you like to put them? 
I'm curious to see what analytics does for your GM team. How does it work in 2K25 with putting points into analytics, Jeff? Well, of course, uh, it's super helpful for when you're doing scouting. The higher you are with analytics, the more you're gonna be able to scout and scout more accurately to get past the fog of war and see what an attribute's true potential is. There's also quite a few conversation options that require high analytics check to pass. I think I'm gonna put two into there. I wanna start scouting. I wanna start thinking about the off season. We're working within the new CBA. So like I said, I have to put a focus on drafting and making sure I'm scouting the right kind of players for the future. Hopefully I'm here more than a year, Jeff. And uh, so I'm going to put two in there. And now I want to focus on the business. So why would it be advantageous to put points in business this year? So business still, all of these attributes will always give you at least some passive benefit. This is going to help your front office. It's going to help your bottom line. It's going to help your attendance. Especially it's going to make sure that the boardroom stays happy with you and will help you interface with the other staff. A little bit important. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's put a, another point into business. Okay, cool. Okay, with that, we hit level eight. And it's time for another perk. I think I want to select something from training. I'm going to actually put this back on you. What perk would you suggest based on how I've been building my team so far? Which one do you think would best suit me? So I think that physio is actually probably a pretty safe bet. Uh, injuries are killer. This will help limit that. Um, It'll make sure that it's less likely and also you're able to kind of rehab a little bit more quickly. But if you're feeling a little bit more dangerous, Sports Psych is going to be able to help keep that winning culture, which will directly translate to having better attributes on the court right now. I want to feel dangerous, so I'm going to go with Sports Psych because I want to keep that winning culture here. Okay. With that, you've uh, finished level eight. We'll go ahead and get levels in, uh, nine through 11. So three more attributes, if you please, Chris. So I want to balance out my team, Jeff. I think I'm going to put two points into sports medicine. Cool. And I'm going to put that last point into defense. Okay. I want to make sure that we're stopping the ball, not letting the other team score is important. I think that kind of coaching, that defensive coaching is always beneficial in these kind of modes. So I think that's where I'm going to select the last couple points here. Absolutely. And Plus, as you're kind of rounding out your squad, you're going to find that you're going to have a pretty balanced uh, selection of conversation options to choose. So it's definitely another benefit of kind of evenly spreading out as you have. You're going to be ready for anything. For new players, what's the benefit of having more dialogue options this year? Well, it's just the more options you have, the more you can tailor your answer to be based on what you as a player feel like you can do. Because if the uh, team governor is like, oh, win a chip, win a chip, and you're like, Sorry, boss, how about the second round? I mean, that's an option that you're only gonna be able to get if you have a, a silver enough tongue to unlock those dialogue options. And from here, what's next? What can players expect? So at level 12, it's a milestone because you get to unlock your exclusive perk that's unique to just your backstory. Now I get Lionheart. So break Lionheart down for all the fans out there. So Lionheart is really special because in playoff elimination games, your star player is going to start out on fire and everyone else is going to start out hot. Great for team takeover. Oh, that's a really good perk. I'm glad we went with that offense. Yeah, you're going to be cooking. Jeff, thank you so much for all this wisdom you're dropping on all the fans for this mode. I can't wait to keep building my team. So as much as I love to continue talking, we got some winning to do. It's time for your top plays. I'm Scott Moak, PA announcer for the Sacramento Kings. And we're tipping off this week in the Proving Grounds. Check out Real Tie 2. A steal from their teammates sends them off and running. And then the self-lob, simply stunning. A bold finish to the game, sending the team back to the lobby celebrating. Moving over to the wreck, we have the contender Blockmare93, spotting up for a green jumper, intercepting a pass, and heaving a buzzer beater. Right place, right time. Yeah, that's definitely enough to lock up player of the half and maybe even top play of the week. Let's find out. Time for you to vote. And if you want a chance to be on 2K TV, send in your best play on social with your gamer tag and the hashtag 2KTVWOW. Until next time, I'm practicing my passing on the side of the house. The family thinks we've got woodpeckers. See ya. If you're looking for a way to earn badge progression faster in my career, you'll want to equip badge perks and multipliers. 
While in my career, pause the game and open up badge perks under the progression tab. You'll see four categories that modify how you earn badge points and instructions on how to unlock them. Scholar accelerates the selected badge to progress 10% faster when you have an A- or better teammate grade. I always got that one, Alexis, always. Okay, yeah, 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 Chris. Winner's Circle boosts your selected badge 10% when you win. Max plus one boosts a badge at max potential one more badge higher. This one could be a game changer for your favorite abilities. This will reset at the beginning of each season, so you can either keep boosting the same badge or try out a new tier on a new badge. And lastly, a rotating seasonal badge will be new every six weeks. Be sure to check back here to make sure your badges are the best they can be. And slide over two more tabs to find out more about unlocking badge point boosts in the NBA and all around the city. The menu has all of the requirements and benefits for each category, so check out how to improve your badge earnings in all of your favorite game modes here. And of course, we did not forget about badge elevators, completely elevating your favorite badges to or even three levels. Earn these as season rewards for your My Team and My Career combined progress each season. You are more rewarded than ever before playing games this year. So I'll be seeing you all out there on the courts. Badge up and get ready to win. Big news in My Team, NBA 2K25 My Team is coming to mobile November 29th. This all new app will feature the new My Team modes like Showdown, Breakout, and the Auction House. More details to come. Free register now and be the first to play, manage, collect, and compete on the go November 29th. In a couple of weeks, we will be bringing you our annual Thanksgiving episode, and we want to hear from you. What are you thankful for? We sure do, and whether you're celebrating here in the U.S. or joining us from anywhere in the world, it's always a good time to give thanks, right, Alexis? Definitely. So if you want to be featured in our special, share what you're thankful for using the hashtag 2KTVThanks over social media. And until then, enjoy the game, and hopefully we'll go get some wins. Thankful for you, Chris. Thankful for you, too. Psych. Ha! Thank you.